Hey guys, Tim from MVP Machine. Um, as the title suggests, I'm going <clears> to <throat> explain why I use a large fly cutter for small parts and why it's better than the other methods, um, either face mill or end mill, and faster and way cheaper. Um, the number of reasons, so I'm going to take a quick cut on this part um, and show you the finish you get and because the tool is such a large radius it takes very little time to traverse the part and you don't have to take the, the full cut of the cutter there's no reason to take what they call a deflection cut on it because there's no deflection you're just uh, <clears throat> basically facing the part and what we wind up with is a real nice finish and this is cold rolled steel, but in the case of hot rolled steel, you'd be removing the scale on the hot roll. And if you had to <coughs> take, that was a 15,000 depth, depth, of, bleh, depth of cut, um, if you had to take more, it would be quick just to do two or three passes. Um, being that this part is three and a quarter inches long, a three inch face mill would have to come at it from this side and it would take much longer but you could take a deeper depth of cut. Now on a face mill um, if you take light cuts like I just did that was 15 thousandths light cuts tend to wear out the inserts and you have five inserts at risk and way more expensive than the single point on a six tip insert on the fly cutter that will easily make it through hundreds of these parts easily 100 but likely more of these small parts the other point is that there's no coolant required or cutting oil so your parts not all slimy you don't have to clean it off um, if you were squaring this part you wouldn't have to clean it off you just have to get rid of the light burr on the edges and flip it and do your next operation so um, which you'd still have a burr to deal with if you used a face mill or end mill so there's a number of reasons um, cost you've got an insert that is approximately at the most about six dollars at the least you can get these for about three dollars if you look online so you have six tips for three dollars on a face mill, hang on a second. On a face mill, like this three inch one, you have five inserts, and the inserts are approximately $13 or $14 a piece. And they don't like to take light cuts. If you take light cuts, you wear those inserts out real fast. So to load this cutter up, it's uh, $66 approximately. And to load this one up, it's three to six dollars and it'll last a, a ton of parts and won't, won't hurt that insert so now we recommend that you never use this tool tool with coolant or cutting oil ever on any material even on aluminum um, on steel it could take up to 25 thousandths and um, on mild steel and on aluminum or aluminum as they call it in every other country but ours um, you can take up to an eighth of an inch and uh, you're still going directly to finish so there's a lot of savings there so you've got the lower insert cost you've got the quicker cutting time because of the bigger radius and you don't have to use coolant or cutting oil so you don't have to clean up your part every time you flip it and it was just a lot of uh, a lot of benefits so just a quick video to let you guys know why I do what I do I get a lot of questions from the other videos um, <clears throat> that I've done where the people have seen me cutting small parts with this large cutter that'll go up to if you extend the bar out like ten and three quarter inches and it pretty much leaves the same finish um, on everything, which is a 
a flat, perfect finish if your machine is trimmed correctly. So, um, we sell these cutters on eBay. This is not a sales video, it's more for information, but we sell these on eBay and also they are available from subtool.com and links will be below if you're interested in this cutter, but it can save you a lot of money, especially if you're a company. Um, <clears throat> a lot of guys that work at companies don't really think about the cost of inserts, and when you're taking light cuts on hot rolled, which is really abrasive to get rid of the mill scale, um, if you're using a five insert cutter, it just, it kind of tears them up, where a cutter like this, it gets under the scale, and just flips it out of the way and the reason you don't need coolant with this is the heat comes up with the chip this part will not get hot um, no matter what it won't even get warm because the heat comes with, off with the chip due to the cutter geometry so just a quick video to answer one of the questions I get a lot and uh, thank you for watching